One of the biggest demands is the heat. Um, so not so much in an open wheel car, but in the stock cars, you know, those cars are built to not have any drag. You don't want to have any air coming into the car because if you do, that's gonna slow the race car down. So the whole point is to have the race car sort of slipping through the air as fast as possible. And that would mean that there's no outside air getting into the cockpit. And then on top of that, I'm wearing like a three layer Nomex suit that's fireproof. And then I've got a helmet over my head and it's just you, it can get up to be 150 degrees inside the car. Um, wow. So it's one of the things that I would do when I was racing to prepare is I would do a lot of hot yoga because I needed to get used to being in extreme heat to where I was sweating profusely. And, you know, you can sometimes get overwhelmed by that heat. And I remember racing in like 2006, 2007, um, I didn't have the uh, ability to have an air conditioning unit. So you can get an air conditioning unit that blows cold air into your helmet. Mm -hmm. They're really, really expensive. And most drivers, you know, can't afford those when they're working their way up the ladder. Um, thankfully, when I got to the higher levels later in my career, I had a team owner who had an extra spare. And so he let me borrow them for my races. I never had to purchase my own, but I never owned one. Um, but it can get so so hot in there so you really have to focus on being able to get through that kind of heat that you would normally feel like you want to collapse in and just be a hundred percent focused and concentrating because you know we're going 200 miles an hour we're inches away from other cars that are in front of us behind us to the sides of us you really have to be focused on hitting your marks and not making any mistakes and you can't lose focus for a second. So that was something that I really found difficult when I was, you know, in the lower levels and I wasn't yet um, conditioned to do that. I think definitely when I went vegan in 2011, I just noticed my body was just stronger. I, I didn't get sick. I didn't even get a cold for six and a half years after I went vegan. So I used to, when I was vegetarian, I would probably get a cold at least once a year, sometimes twice a year. I just thought it was normal. Like when my friends and family got sick and I was around people that were sick, I just assumed I was going to get ill. And six and a half years, I made it without a single cold. And now I've had a total of two colds in eight years. And both of them have been very, very minor where it's just, you know, a couple of days and it's gone pretty quickly. So I've been um, I've been really surprised at that sort of side benefit, especially because, you know, I'll admit I'm a little bit of a, a I'm a healthy vegan, but I'm also a junk food vegan. I like, <laughs> you know, the vegan pizza and the vegan burgers and vegan mac and cheese and vegan ice cream and vegan burritos, all that stuff that's, you know, not necessarily as a vegan, the healthiest options, but I enjoy them. Hey, like, folks. OK. Back by very popular demand is our plant-powered plate fridge magnet, which you are going to receive for free if you leave us a rating and a review on whatever platform you're listening to this podcast on. So here are the details. Just write your quick review. Does not need to be long. Does not need to be a whole story. Just be honest and speak from the heart. Then take a quick screenshot of the review you wrote and email it to us at podcast at switchforgood.org. That's podcast at switchforgood.org. And include your mailing address so we can send you a power plate. We are doing this because the more reviews we garner, the higher we go in search results, which means more folks will learn about our podcast. So the power is in your hands. Leave us a review and zoom, zoom, your power plate arrives at your doorstep. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If we helped you in any way, then click the subscribe button and let's keep hanging out together. We have so much more to share with you. And if you need more information on actually making the switch for good, please visit us at switchforgood.org for loads of info. And you can subscribe to our mailing list where you will receive all sorts of super cool gifts, discount codes to our very fave dairy-free products, and a lifetime of powerful health tips. So join us on the journey to switch for good. This is the future.